So today we're going to be visiting the Country Club. As you can see there, it's got Herbalization Country Club. Most people call it the Mazaron Country Club, but we're going to call it the Country Club so it doesn't confuse things. What's pretty amazing about this place, as you're driving down the RM3, you've got a good chance of missing it, even though you can see the signpost saying to the Country Club. If you're looking over to your left now, you're not really going to see the entrance to it. So just remember that, guys, when you're coming down here. You see the turning for the Country Club. It's also the turning for El Paraton. It's a little bit misleading in a minute because we go over the bridge. Bad gear change there. We go right round the roundabout. Up over the bridge. Oops, and he's dropped some bricks in the road. As, as you can probably hear, I've got my dog with me today. This is Bonnie. So, another roundabout. You can see, you can't see it on the camcorder, but you can see the, where the country club is now. You see the sign that says urbanization, it won't say country club. There's like a, it's not a watchtower, that used to be on one of those uh, windmills. And then straight in front of us, you've got the garden center. Very good garden centre. It's got a guy in there that speaks English, uh, but it's run by a Spanish couple. And I believe it's the only place around here that actually sells wood, <laughs> which is quite useful, believe it or not. Anyway, now this is where it gets a little bit confusing because there's no actual sign. All you can see, you see the no through road sign but there's no sign here, but there's a turning to the right. And this is the entrance into the country club. Okay, it's barriered, it's got cameras on it. So when you come up to the barrier, it's never manned now, they, they rely on the cameras now. So you just pull over, there's a little button that you have to press. And you can see, yeah, let's push that. So you can see the sign there, the Mazaron Country Club. Welcome signs. You got, there's a, there's a, a map, uh, a road map to your right then. Now you've got this amazing, what I call amazing, some people don't like it, but to me, it, I, I love it. It's this long sort of corridor of, uh, Rome, Roman stuff. Spain loves their entrances, and this is what I call an amazing entrance. Now, what time are we talking? We're just talking um, just after nine o'clock in the morning, so you won't see many people walking about. What I'm gonna do first, I'm just gonna give you a, a quick tour of the area first, and then we'll stop off at certain places later on. So the building to our right now, that's like the main, the main headquarters, if we get what I mean. You've got the estate agent in there. You've got like a community center. Uh, I think there's a library in there, somebody was telling me. Right, now to our left now, during the summer, I was put up a photograph. This is where the swimming pool is. Now that's open during the summertime. You've got where all the letters are as well. You've also got a bar in there, a tennis court. Uh, there's another sort of venue thing where you can hold weddings and that. Okay, because this is a, a gated area, 
this means that you'll be paying a community charge. I haven't got a clue what the community charge is. Right, just to our right, that's a, a cycle path that goes down into Mazarin itself. As you can see, you've got lovely wide roads. Now, if we carried on this road, we can carry on and we can come out the other end of the complex. It would be another barrier and that would take you on the back road towards Maveron as well. You just can't believe how wide this road is. Now, you obviously, uh, left and right, you've got parking. You've got a garden to your right, so you've got some nice views of the mountains. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to go off one of the side roads in a minute, just give you an idea what it looks like. You got some big tall buildings here. I, I'm sorry guys, I've got no information on uh, the types of property, but if you go into the local state agent here, uh, they'd be quite happy to show you all the different types of buildings. Now if we carried on, we would come out the other end of this complex. So there's plenty of places for walking your dog. <coughs> As you, as you can hear, Bonnie's just saying hello to those nice doggies. <laughs> Fire hydrant there. Now these these are like offshoot roads. As you can probably see, most of these properties got off-road parking as well. So we've come to the end of this uh, no through road. So there are some quite big property up here. And uh, you've got a big gate down at the bottom there. Now you've probably noticed um, there is a few houses up for sale. There's also a, a lot of property here is rented out for holiday homes or summer lets, or even some people have obviously got this as their second home. You got some nice seating area there to see those mountains. Right, you know, I don't know if you can catch that, but on some of these properties you'll see a, a red sign with VV on it. That means it's uh, rented through the tourism board. So you've got the doggy thing over there to pick up your doggy poo bags. Now, when I was ch chatting to the estate agent the other day, she was telling me most of the people that live on this complex are French, Dutch, and German. But I could be wrong. <laughs> so, if anybody lives there, please, please uh, put any information below the video because I, I don't know it all. Um, I'm not too sure. I've got a feeling with the community charge, it also depends on the size of your property, on how much you're going to be paying. 
uh, and obviously with the community charge, I presume that what it's doing, because I don't pay community charge, so I don't know what, what it pays towards, but I presume it pays towards the uh, maintenance of the roads, the gardens, keeping the place tidy. If you noticed also, there's a lot of bins about. I'm going to go up this road here. Yeah, so this, we're coming along this, on to our left here is the actual part where the tennis courts are. There's like a bar come restaurant. Somebody's telling me that that's a, a lot of the Spanish come here because it does a good tapas. There's also another part, there's another building, it's sort of like a function room where they, like I said before, they do weddings and whatever. Oh, and today, because it's Tuesday, it's market day, and I've just seen some stalls there at the side. So we, we're coming along the swimming pool area now. Now, to our right, they're building some new builds, uh, which is nice to see. Uh, so there's a bit of building work going on. There's another doggy here, which no doubt Bonnie's going to say hello to. Right here, Bob. So, uh, what I know is that these new builds have got pools. These um, buildings to our right now have got what I would class as dip pools. I'll just put a, vid, uh, a photograph up of what they look like. Now there's obviously some big villas up here. Got some uh, good views, looking over the whole complex and obviously down into the valley and the mountains. So straight in front of us you got the, what I tried to say was like the headquarters, which was the main building. That's got like a, a community centre in there, a library I think is open during the week. Uh, also that's where the estate agent is as well. But like I said before, if anybody that lives here, uh, more information the better. Just checking to see what that bin was. Now that there is a bin around here, it's like a, a click, a click and collect bin. It's where you can put your parcels in. I think you get like a, a barcode. You scan it, it unlocks it. You can take out your parcel, or you can put a parcel in there. I'm not. I don't know any more information about that, but I believe that is on here somewhere. So at the moment, it's about just gone nine and it's 16, coming up to 17. So I'm showing you some of the, the side streets as well to give you some idea about parking. Now like I said before, most of these properties have got off-road parking. And looking at some of the properties, they're, they're quite big, some of them are. Let's see where that goes. Let's have a look. It's always interests me where some of these roads go to. You know, a nice shaded area there to sit down under the trees. Look at the view.
Now we're back into what I would class as the main square. Right, if you want to know a bit more about this place and obviously the properties, don't contact me because I ain't got a clue about the, the size and what's in, in hold with these properties. But if you contact, they will help you. Three lovely ladies speak many languages, so don't worry about where you come from. They'll be able to help you, give you all the information that you need to know. Hope you enjoyed the vid. Just gives you some idea of what some of these places look like. So as I always say, keep watching, because you don't know what I'm going to bring out next. And oh yeah, just a reminder, just to make sure that the barrier is up. <laughs> but if it is down, there's a button to your left there, you just press it and the barrier will open up. So don't think you're stuck in here. And obviously to get off the complex itself, don't go right because that's a dead end. You've got to go left. Now this was, the road that we're coming on now, is the old 3RM3. No, RM3 I should say. And be careful when you're coming down here because this was, was the old road. It suddenly shoots off. <laughs> to the left in a minute uh, and you can see a white line that's going right down the middle of the road there so I hate to think the amount of people that's probably looking at the skid mark there that have uh, not followed the road correctly so I'll catch you next time